This is Valeran and welcome to Empyrean. This video is aimed at newer players who are just getting started playing Empyrean and want a good strategy to follow. Before I begin however, let me put up a disclaimer. The material I cover today could change with future patches and updates as this game is not yet finished. So most of what I teach here should still apply if this video is old, but some of it may not still apply. So just be aware of that. This video was published during Alpha 10, so make sure you watch this entire video and then read the current patch notes of the game to see what has changed since then if there have been new updates since Alpha 10. That being said, let's get started. What you want to do is you want to set it to easy, okay? That's what I suggest you go as if you're new to the game and you don't know what you're doing. Or if you know but it's you're still having difficulty with it, uh, I would just go with easy and just learn it on easy and then you can do better on a higher difficulty once you know everything. I put minor depletion on false because I don't like that. And for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to put blueprint and repair speed on instant and we're going to put constructor craft speed on instant as well for the purposes of this video. Usually I have it on fast because I don't like to wait around too long, but it's kind of unrealistic having everything be instant. And that's kind of kind of ruins the game a little bit in my opinion. But this is a beginner guide, so I'm not too concerned with it. Uh, auto monitor depletion is good. Check our settings. All right everything checks out let's hit okay and then let's hit uh start okay so now it's loading just wait for it to finish loading so you start out in an escape pod try not to land in the water for obvious reasons and when you move your mouse it moves the escape pod like so try to aim it for somewhere flat if you can but really honestly it, it pretty much the default areas all pretty much look the same. They kind of changed that since like Alpha 8, I think. There's a spider nest near us, so probably steer away from that. Steer away from those monsters too. Okay, so once you hit the ground, the game should prompt you to do a tutorial as it's doing right now. If you're new and have never played before, you may want to choose Let's Go. If you've done the tutorial already, then skip it. So if you're new, hit Let's Go. If you're like me and you've already played it, you've already done it, you know how to do the mechanics of the game, uh, hit Skip. So we're going to hit Skip. And if you just want to follow my video, you can hit Skip as well. Hit yes. Usually there's like two water balls. If you want to grab them, you can. You don't have to. So there's a survival tool right here. If you skip the tutorial, you should have it on in your inventory. Go ahead and put it on your hot bar. Portable constructor there as well. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for now. All right, get it equipped and I like to put it in defense mode when I'm running around. So we just need to, so we found a copper deposit. Yeah, our first goal is to run all over the place until we find iron, copper, and silicone. Now I'm going to head to this copper deposit because we might find more deposits. So let's go ahead and travel there. But we're going to stay away from the spider nest over here. Oh, that's right, we need to use the bike. Yeah, you put the bike in your hotbar, you left click it onto the ground, and you hit F to get on it. So we found another spider nest. Got level two, that's good. Found an iron deposit. And where else? Where's the silicon? Whoa, boy. Let's head toward the iron one. Maybe we'll find another one. Oh, there's a lot of dips. There's got to be a silicone somewhere. Found the copper. We found the iron. Yeah, so you just drive around the motorcycle till you find all, all the, the three different types of resources that you need to locate. And if you can find Prometheum, that's great, too. Gives you a good head start. Get out of the way, Dino. 
Oh, there's a silicone deposit right there. Okay, cool. Alright, so we found silicone, we found iron, we found copper. Good. Get on the map. Now you can check those small wreckages if you want. I generally don't care. You basically want 200 iron ore, you want 150 copper ore, and 150 silicone ore. Emphasis on the word ore. That's going to net you about 400 iron ingots, 300 copper ingots, and 300 silicone ingots. That's going to be more than enough for you to get started and to get your, uh, your first vessel going. Alright, so you get with your survival tool out, right click, put it in resource, resource drill, There's a, see the circle? You know you're on the right setting when you see the circle on the ground like that. Walk up to the text of the copper deposit until it is below your feet, like this. And then you look straight down at the ground and you kind of move around, strafe around, and try to get it as the number of meters as low as possible. So right now, the lowest I can get the, the meter distance is 14.7, so this is where we start digging. Yeah, you just hold left click. If you haven't played Imperium in a long time, you're really going to love the new mining in Alpha 10. It's a lot better. They improved it greatly. It mines in chunks now instead of by texture, it's, which was really annoying before and really tedious. All right, we found the copper. Yeah, you just dig straight down and keep digging until you run into the copper. You can dig towards the text if you want. That's a good thing to do as well. And we're going to grab 150 of this, so I'm going to skip ahead. I'll start the video again once we get 150. Okay, so we got 173 copper ore. Let's go ahead and head back up. Now, it looks, like, uh, looks pretty hard to get up there, but just hug the walls and he'll hold the space bar. And you'll climb up pretty easily should there you go and just like this if you need to just mine your way out the climbing mechanics in this game are pretty wonky but they work so it's like our bikes over here it looks like about the equal distance we're gonna head to iron next Whoopsie daisy. All right, just like before. Get on top of iron. Stand on top of it and try to get as close to the Middle as you can. Looks like, oh, that's good enough. It's pretty far down there. Yeah, you're just gonna dig down just like before. And we'll come back uh, and we'll skip ahead to when I have 100, you're gonna wanna get 200 iron ore, so we'll skip ahead to that. Sometimes it can be hard to get to. Sometimes it's it's deep down there. Like in this case, the iron's deep down there. Okay, looks like we found it. There's a little bit of iron right there. There we go. Yeah, you're just going to want to mine this until you get 200. Okay, so we have 203 iron ore. We're going to head back up. It, if, so if it looks impossible, remember, it can be done. But if you need to mine out, just, you know, use your drill and you can drill your way back out of there. All right, we're going to go to the silicone resource next. There it is. And we're going to fall into a lake. Pro tip, when you fall into a lake, you can swim by selecting the zero key on your hotbar. It's the freehand spot, and I wish a lot of other survival games had this. 
that allows you to swim better. And it looks like we're gonna... Uh, let's just swim across. Alright, we're gonna head back to the silicone once again. Hopefully you don't run into any more lakes. Oh, we drove over it. Alright, stand on top of it again. And looks like 20 is it. So dig down. Uh, it's pretty deep to, as, as well. It's going to take a bit. Alright, here we go. This is what silicon looks like. And we're going to come back when I have 150 of it. Okay, we got 178 silicon ore. That's more than enough. Let's climb back out of here. Man, it's like I got climbing claws or something. Anyway. So, this guy's going to start attacking us. Let's kill him. Yeah, there we go. Now, whenever you kill something, make sure you loot its body. Alien parts really don't matter, but you want to grab everything else if you can. Okay. So we got silicone, we got copper, we got iron. All right, now, now we're going to want to cut some uh, trees down with our survival constructor as well. Just run over here to this tree. And you put it in defense mode to cut trees down for some reason. I don't know why resource mining doesn't work, but it doesn't. You have to use defense mode to kill the tree, and it automatically puts it in your inventory when it's done killing it. Like it just did there. Three logs. Look at the, bo the bottom left corner of your screen. Kill this guy as well. Kill as many creatures as you can. Just be a mass murderer. If you need to. Yeah, just cut down some of these trees. And we're going to cut this down and then that should be enough. Oh, by the way, these are spice leaves. Make sure you pick them up when you have a refrigerator. We don't have one right now, but whatever. Okay, we got some wood. Some some fiber. Okay, we're gonna next. We're gonna place the portable constructor. If you don't have one, you need to make one. It just requires some more. That's and we have plenty of that right now. So go ahead and make one or or get one out of your inventory. If you skip the tutorial, you should have one in your inventory. Put it down. Left click and we're gonna hit F to get into it. So now we're gonna use this constructor. We're gonna put all our ore in there and our crushed stone, and our wood logs. And we're gonna make a chainsaw. And we're gonna research. We're gonna unlock shotgun by going to the unlock tab right up here, the unlock tree. Hit weapons and go to shotgun and click unlock. You can do this with all the other stuff as well if you need. Basically, how you should do this is when you need some, when you need it, unlock it. Otherwise, don't unlock it because you got to be kind of picky with your points. So only unlock something when you need it. The good news is, though, especially towards the later levels, you have so many points you you can't possibly spend them all. You can pretty much get every single little thing. All right, and now we're going to. Build a shotgun, and that built instantly. Now we're going to build some shotgun shells. Let's do about, yeah. Now when you left click once, read, read the entire thing. At the bottom it says output count 30, okay? Go ahead and read that real quick. That means every time I left click, every one time I make this, it puts out 30 of them. So that's why I only had to click this five times and I got 120. Now for the chainsaw, we need to make 
uh, biofuel. So if you go to the components tab, the two gears grinding together, biofuel is the bottom right here. It used to be in a different place back in earlier alphas of this game, but for some reason in alpha 10, it's in the components box. So it's in the components tab. So go ahead and let's just make about 10 of them. Now, if you're not doing instant constructor speed, these are gonna take a lot longer, uh, the, especially the biofuel, and the ammo is gonna take a little bit of time. So while this is making, you probably should make a second constructor just for making biofuels. That, that's what I would do. Though because my, my speed's instant, I don't have to do that in this video. What a pushover. Okay, so we got shotgun. I'm gonna reorganize my hot bar here real quick. Once you queue the stuff up, go hunt some animals. Once you make the once you make the shotgun and make some shells, you're gonna put the shotgun in your hot bar. You're gonna start using it to kill animals while you're waiting for biofuel. I had to reload. But yeah, just start killing everything that moves. Except for pangolins and triceratops. Don't... They'll wreck you if you try to attack them. Not always, but honestly, they're not worth fighting. They're really not. It takes too long to kill them. Yeah, they give you XP, but it's... You're risking your death, basically. It's like your death if they hit you. So it's, they're just not worth attacking. Now, if, when you get... Later on, when you got heavier firepower and heavier armor, you can easily kill them, but... Yeah, just not with a shotgun. Yeah, so just start killing everything that moves. Do this until you're level 5. It looks like we're only level 3, so we need to kill more stuff. And I'll, I'll let you see that as well. Miss. Now, see, that's a penguin right there. You don't want to mess with them. Make sure you loot the monsters after you kill them. I wish there was a hotkey to loot everything. This game badly needs it. Let's go ahead and sleep real quick. Yeah, go ahead and get your 10 out and sleep. Um, and get back to killing. Pick it up by hitting Shift F on it. All right, we hit level five. Good, so we hit level five. Now, while you were, I forgot to mention, while you're going out and getting level five, uh, you need to turn all of your ore into ingots and we forgot to do that so let's go ahead and do that now go ahead and get the motorcycle out yeah we kind of missed a step there so you're gonna have to turn all these all this ore into ingots so that you can use the factory to make to make the hover vessel okay so we're gonna go ahead and Hit the components tab, then we got iron ingots, we're going to make 200 of them. Now, here's a neat trick. Hold control and left click it, and it makes 100. Okay? So if you want to make 100 of something, control left click. We're going to make 100 of copper, that made all of them instantly. We're going to hit that on silicone. So now we have enough 
We have enough iron, copper, and silicone to make our hover vessel. So you have a few options here. You can build a hover vessel from scratch with the unlock points you have. You can spawn in a starter hover vessel stock blueprint using the blueprints function. So I'll show you how to do that real quick here. So if you want the in-game uh, default blueprints, just go to this top left here underneath blueprints. There's these three little tabs. Hit this square right here and look at all these. And these are all the in-game prefabs, okay? You want to go to where it says HV, stands for hover vessel. Look at tier zero, tier one, tier two, tier three. Um, you're not really going to be able to build higher than tier two feasibly. Uh, we just don't have the resources right now. Generally not going to have the resources this early game to make anything higher than tier two. So you could make, so you can make a tier two hover vessel from the stock blueprints or even better option, of course, you can spawn my personal starter hover vessel I made that is cheap and will take care of you until you have made a functioning base and well afterwards. I call this hover vessel the Minibego. It's like a Winnebago, but not. I will put a link in the description below. And since it's my blueprint, the Minibego, oh, gotta kill this guy. I can't chain, why can't I hit him with a chainsaw? That was annoying. Now, before I was so rudely interrupted, Now, where was I? In the next part of the series, I will talk about building hover vessel from scratch. For this video, we're going to spawn in a blueprint. So in this case, it's gonna be the Minibego. Uh, that's my that's my ship that I made. I If you want, the link's in the description below. If you wanna build this, click on the link. It should take you to the uh, workshop page and go ahead and subscribe to it from your Steam and you know, make sure you log into Steam, subscribe to it, and you'll be able to find it here over Workshop Blueprints, this button right here. All the Workshop Blueprints will be listed. Now, it's Minibego isn't in my Workshop Blueprints because I made it, so it's in my own Blueprints. So you go ahead and click Minibego, and you go to Factory right here. Hit the To Factory button, and this is the little production window right here, and you throw things into this, and it puts it in here. So this is what it's asking for. It wants 102 iron, 163 silicone, 196 copper, and 410 carbon substrate. So we're gonna have to make some substrate. I'll show you how to do that in a second. All you gotta do is make sure you have some crushed stone in your uh, survival constructor. Go to put components and hit carbon substrate. You're gonna want about 400 of them, so about 20 or 21 basically oh we don't have enough plant fibers oh i'm out of wood okay we need more wood and we're going to need some biofuel to power the hover vessel that we're about to make so i was going to do that while i was uh making the hover vessel but my blueprint speed is instant so we'll just do the get the wood now But yeah, while you're waiting around for your blueprint to finish, you're gonna wanna grab these logs. And that's how you get logs. I'm gonna jump across the river here, go back to your survival constructor. It's marked on your mini map, by the way. You can see it on your map here, survival constructor, right next to the silicon deposit. You can see all the deposits here too. The map is pretty good. Not as good as say seven days to die, but it's pretty good. Okay, so now we have enough logs to make the rest of our substrate. Now we have 420. I did not do that intentionally. I did not come up with that number intentionally. Hugs, not drugs. <laughs> anyway, 
All right, so we're going to put the substrate in there. You want to put exact numbers in here too. So 410 substrate, you're going to want to split, right, do right click on a stack to split it. Click left click on a stack to grab it. And as you only need to click once. And as you hovered over another stack, you basically right click and add copper into that stack. And throw it in there. And then silicone, 163. Almost got it by cutting it in half, all right? And 163, bam, and then silicone. All right, and then once you, once all these numbers are green, right here, uh, you wanna hit start production. And now my speed is instant, but if you're playing normally, it won't be instant. You're gonna have to wait a few minutes, probably longer than that. Like for example, um, well, it's all one millisecond, but uh, the, the minute Bego on fast is like 16 minutes. So it takes quite a bit of time takes some time to make these blueprints, but rightfully so, right? I mean, you're still saving loads of time not having to build that ship piece by piece every single time. But more about building in, an in another video. Now, once it's finished, you'll see the spawn button come up and it'll say completed and be up here at the top left corner, so look for it. See, it says completed. Now you hit, click on Win Minabego or click on the ship that you're making and you click spawn. Now it has a ghost up here. When it lights up green like this, this means you can place it by left clicking. So let's go ahead and left click. And it drops it down. It used to be a lot more clunky than this uh, in previous patches of Empyrean, but in this patch it's pretty good. I like the new way they've done it. Okay, so we got our ship. Now, we're going to make some biofuel. And we're going to get in the ship hitting the F key. Hit the P button. Open up the menu, the ship menu. And we're going to, now you can't fill all with, uh, with biofuel. You can only do that with fuel packs. So we're going to click manage. We're going to right click and then we're going to left click it into the fuel space right here. And see how it jumped up. All right, so that should be enough for now. So there you go, that's your first vessel. That concludes the video. Make sure you watch part two where I go over building and operating hover vessels. There are other games I play too, mainly survival games. Consider watching my other tutorials on various games if you want to start playing them and want to try something new. I stream and have a Discord channel, so stop by and say hello sometime. Links in the description. If you like my content, consider subscribing to my channel. If you like this video, tell me what you liked about it in the comments section below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.